Microsoft's new stop rating system Windows 11 is packed full of enhancements and features that are pretty useful. So, today in this video, I will show you tips, tricks, and features you will want to use to improve your overall experience using the operating system. So, let's get started. When you first launch Windows 11, you will notice the Start menu and Taskbar icon are in the middle. Personally, this looks a lot better, but many users prefer the taskbar on the left side. You can align the taskbar on the left. To do that, right-click any open part of the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Scroll down, and click Taskbar Behaviors. Again scroll down to get the Taskbar Alignment option. You can select center or left from the drop-down menu. If you are using your PC, and more than one window is open, you can minimize all windows except the one you are working on by just shaking the title bar. If you shake one time, it will minimize all the windows, and if you shake again, it will restore them. To turn on this feature, go to the settings, scroll down, select multitasking, and turn on the title bar window shake option. Like other features, Microsoft also changed the look of File Explorer. If you want an option like the previous Windows version by right-clicking any item, just open File Explorer, right-click on any item. You will see an option named, Show More Options, select this option, and you will get the old right-click menu. Some users have also been unhappy that Microsoft removed the ability to pin the folder in the Start menu. But you still can add folders, but only those that are system folders. To do that, open the Settings, select Personalization, scroll down, choose Start. Then click on Folders. From here, you can add a folder in the Start menu. You can turn it on for those you need in the start menu. When you are done, close the settings and click the start button. Here is our folder. Another tip for the start menu. After installing Windows 11, you will have some pinned apps by default. If you want to remove those apps, right click on it and select unpin from the start. If you want to add your favorite app, then click the start icon, select all apps, find your favorite app, right click on it, and see the pin to start option. Many of you know that Microsoft has introduced a new snap window feature option. You can arrange multiple windows. To do that, hover your mouse over the resize button. You can see some layouts. Select the one you like. Like the previous Windows version, Windows 11 also has a secondary start menu. To open it, right-click the start menu icon. Let's customize your quick setting. In Windows 11, if you click the volume or network icon, it will open up a quick setting. You can remove or add your necessary item here. To do that, click the edit icon. If you want to add a new item, click add, and select the one you want to add. If you want to remove it, then click the unpin icon. Hide Windows default taskbar icon. After installing Windows 11, you will get some taskbar icons by default. If you want to remove them, right click any part of your taskbar. Select taskbar setting and turn it off. Suppose you want to control volume for each program. Then this step is for you, right-click on the volume icon. Select Open Volume Mixer. You can now control the volume for each program separately. If you want to reduce distraction while working, playing games, or doing other activities, you can use Focus Assist. Go to the setting. Go to Focus Assist. If you turn off this, you will get notification from all of your apps. You can select Priority Only and Alarm Only. You can set automatic rules. If you want to customize notifications while gaming, choose this option. From here, you can select what suits you the best while gaming. If you want to see a file extension like mine, click the start icon type file explorer option. Open it. Select the view tab. In advanced setting, uncheck this option. Then apply, and you will get the extension. If you have a touchscreen monitor, or your keyboard is not suddenly working, this can help you. Right-click any open area of your taskbar. Select Taskbar Settings. Turn on the Touch Keyboard option. Click the keyboard icon, and you will get eTouch Keyboard. You can type using this keyboard. You can also change the theme and size.
Earlier, we have talked about focus assistance. But if you want to turn off the notification, go to the settings, select notification, and turn off the option. You can also turn off specific apps notification. Guys, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.